Hi, it's Ross Nickerson at BanjoTeacher.com, and I want to demonstrate uh, something on the Snuffy Smith Bridges uh, that you're looking at here on the web page. Um, I have right here in my hand, I have a Gold Star. It's a brand new uh, Gold Star Banjo, uh, the 100 FE that we sell. And I just finished doing a little demo uh, video of this. And what I want to do is I want to swap the bridge out, which is a stock bridge that comes with it, which is a you know, fine enough bridge. It's probably a Grover. It's kind of generic. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's probably like a Grover bridge, one that costs about $8 or so. And I'm going to swap out and put the uh, the Style 2 Snuffy Smith on it and uh, see if you can hear the difference. Uh, let me just uh, demonstrate a little little picking first with the, the bridge on there. And I haven't done this before, so hopefully it will improve the tone so I can prove my point that the Snuffy Smith will help the tone. So here, let me play a little for you, and then uh, we'll swap the bridge out. So let's take a listen to what the individual strings sound like uh, with the uh, standard stock bridge that's on the brand new Gold Star I have here in my hand. Let's start with the fourth string. Okay, and the third string. Second. First. And the fifth. A little pinch. That sounds pretty good. That's with the standard bridge. And now I'm going to swap out to the Snuffy Smith. Before I do that, I'll play a little bit of a song for you. Snuffy Smith uh, Style 2 bridge with a Style 2 as the compensated G string, which uh, compensating the G string is not a, a new trick on banjo. The G string or third string on a banjo is uh, inherently kind of sharp, so they've come up with different things over the years. I really like this design. It's kind of simple and I don't think it affects the tone at all in instead of some of the more drastic moves they've made to uh, compensate for uh, the, the straight bridge not being quite in tune. So this is the compensated G, so I like this one. This is the type I use. So let's uh, let's stick it on there and see what happens. Just kind of get that wire like so. Put this one out. Bring it back to approximately where I want it there. Okay, why don't I pause the tape while I fine tune it and I'll play some for you, okay? Okay, it's Ross Nickerson, and I'm back. I put the bridge on and tuned it up a little bit. And uh, let's hear what the strings sound like on an individual basis. Uh, the little bit I just played on it, when I tuned it, it seemed to sound quite a bit better to me. Let's see if you agree. Here's the fourth string. Third string. Second. And first. That's that pinch there. It seems a little more solid and compressed to me. Smith bridge there. So if you do buy one, you want to add the S uh, facing towards the neck. And let me see, um, can you see the little notch on the third string there? Why don't you zoom the camera in just a little bit more and uh, see if you can see the notch that's on the third string for uh, compensating like that. And let me see, I'll just turn it kind of like that boy. At least on my monitor, I can't see that real good. Hopefully you can. But there's a little notch there on the third string, and you probably can see that on the uh, website picture of it too. So that's the Snuffy Smith, <laughs> Snuffy Smith style too. And I recommend that. I think that uh, they make an expensive banjo sound better and they make a less expensive banjo sound like an expensive one.